All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to read and save the EEPROM file and the flash file from a CAS2, CAS3, and CAS4 module using the Ortel IM508, the adapter APA109, and the XP400 Pro. All right, guys, the first thing you want to do is open up your cast. Now, your cast, to take out the circuit board, this cat, uh, to open this up, there's going to be four clips. One, two, three, four. And they're very simple to open up. That's all you have to do is take your flat screwdriver. Uh, no, sometimes it's not that really simple. So let's start from this side. What you want to do is I want to take my two fingers and pull, be pulling up on the connector. Take your screwdriver right between there. Just pick that tab up just a little bit, and at the same time, you're picking up on it. Now, see, I picked up on it and it stayed in place. Then the other side might be kind of dark for you to see. There it is, right there. Pick that up. Now, you got that side popped up. Then you go to the other side. Just go back and forth until you take that out. Now, the reasons why you might want to do this procedure, what we're doing is, one, you either want to um, put in another DME, a used DME or a new DME on the car. Two, replace the cast itself. Or three, make a key by file. And so you're going to need these. All right, we got this set now. Let's move on. All right, so we have this set up here, getting ready to get into the file. So we're gonna go into email, and you gotta accept that to get in there. Uh, this is for a BMW, so we're gonna, of course, right? So we're gonna click on BMW, and it's asking you about the DLC plug. Don't worry about that, because when we're working on the bench, we're not working at the car, so you can just hit okay, and it'll be all right. So now, in order to get the, your EEPROM file, there's actually two ways you can do it. So I'm going to show you the first way, and then I'll go back and show you the second way in case you decide you want to do it that way. But you can go into System Selection. And then we're going to go into the Immobilizer. And this is a CAS3. So if you don't know, It'll tell you on the label, right up here, cast three, so then you know which cast to, uh, you, you have. So we're going to click on cast three, and then we're going to go into ECU operation. All right, the, it, this is just letting you know. You can always click on the eye right here if, if the little blue circle is there and you can get a little bit more information if you have any questions. Okay, so now you gotta pick which chip you have. So, if you don't know which chip you have, it's right there in case, I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay, so we have the OL15Y, so we're gonna click on that. And there you go, read EEPROM, read flash, okay? So now the I'm gonna go back, just go all the way back, and I'm gonna show you the other way you can do it. So if, once you're on this screen, if you hit ECU renew, you can get that way as well. And if you have to, um, do, if you're working with the DME, going through ECU renew would be your best option. So you're going to go into Immobilizer, of course. And again, we have CAS3. And it was OL15Y, our chip number. And then here you would go into ECU Operations. Again, if you're, doing with, if you're working with the DME, if you're trying to program the DME, then you would go into Renew. But we're not doing that today. We're just going to hit ECU Operations, again with the instructions. And then here you would have where you can read the EEPROM and the flash. So now the next thing you have to do 
is you click on that little blue circle and they put this that little thing in the wrong spot if you ask me but make your screen bigger so right here you have all the um, steps that you have to follow so you would have your APA 109 okay <clears throat> and here they show you um, all the soldering points it shows you the color of the wires and all the soldering points on the cast if you have a cast 4 it's going to be different soldering points than this you're still going to use the same plug APA 109 but it's different soldering points so please pay attention to this little diagram right here because that's going to really help you out so now a quick tip on this this gets plugged up to your XP 400 so what I normally do before I solder is just don't plug it up just check which way the plug goes and then just leave it like that because if you happen to solder your points in and then you be like oh I gotta turn this around and then you might end up disconnecting something so I usually pay attention to which way it goes and do it like that I solder it first before I connect it so let's go ahead and solder everything and meet back over here all right I'm all done soldering my points and I plugged it up to the XP 400 make sure your XP 400 is plugged up to your IM 508 and then we're gonna hit read EEPROM Right, it's just going to take a minute. All right, now it's reading. It's not too it's not too bad. It goes pretty fast. <clears throat> And now you get to save your file. So they give you a suggestion of a name up here. You could either keep that or you can make up your own name. So if you if you want to make up your own name, just click right there and you get your little keyboard. If you want to keep that name, just hit save. That's all the way up here. And EEPROM files successfully. A red EEPROM files successfully. Then you hit OK, and then you can do the same thing with the flash. It's always good to do both. So you're going to hit Read Flash. And again, now I like when they have the progress bar, because that way you know how much more you got to go. But it should still read pretty quick. So much for quick. Yeah. It's getting there, it's getting there. Oh, we do see it doing something. See the light flashing on the thing, so. Well, I guess it's obvious. We see the progress bars so. on Right. Almost there. All right, same thing here. You could either change the name or keep what you have. If you notice the one we saved before, it says EEPROM. And this one says flash, so that way you would know the difference. 
you could just hit save and it's all saved and then now you can use these files to do what it is that you need to do all right hope you enjoyed the video